There's not enough skins in the game. I think most of us can agree on that. Since Hoyoverse has started developing skins in Genshin Impact, we haven't really seen that many release in, I mean, a long period. And if you look over at the sister game, Honkai Impact 3rd, even though it has been running for a much longer time, that game does nothing but pump out skins every patch. And then we come over to Genshin, which has been obviously way more lucrative, and this is all we're at. But I'm not really here to talk about Hoyoverse and them improving the skin production and ramping it up. I'm here to talk about Dia skins I want to see in the future. So guys, welcome back to another Daily Dia. So today, I want to talk about Dia skins that I would love to see. Because Dia, look, like I said yesterday, Dia looks amazing. But I wonder what kind of skins you guys would want to see. And also what Hoyoverse would potentially put out. Now the thing is this, Dia's like... Uh, really far away away like <laughs> we only have like one Inazuma character that has a skin and it's Ayaka and you know Ayaka is like one of the crowd favorites so I'm not surprised that she has one so it's probably going to be a long 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 time before Dia even gets a skin shoot if she ever gets one <laughs> but I would love to see one for her personally a, a outfit I would love to see would be like a dress something like this you know, elegant beauty. I feel like, you know, her typical outfit is really, you know, you know, mercenary badass, but it would be nice to see like the elegant side of Dia, you know, the, uh, how can I say, I don't know what to really say, so I'm just going to say like, je ne sais quoi. <laughs> you know, what I'm, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, you, you know, you <laughs> I mean, what do you mean? You know what I mean? But you guys get it. Like just, I guess elegant is, I guess the more fashionable side of Dia. Let me say that, even though she is mad fashionable already. But another skin type I know a lot of people would love to see is like Dia in gym outfit. Now, personally, I don't think Hoyoverse would ever do this, but I do enjoy the fan art. And also Dia plus Beto looks amazing. So <laughs> I can't even be mad about it. So gym attire aside, I definitely would like to see a potential like Sumeru Academia outfit, similar to something that Lisa has, but you know, with Dia's kind of own twist on it. As you guys know, Dia's from the desert, Aramite, and not many people from that side really get into the Academia, but even now Haitham says like her efforts, see, well, her talent seems kind of wasted being a mercenary and he kind of wishes that she was working for the Academia. So maybe not like working for the Academia, but maybe there's like a part of the story, like a quick side story where Dia's like helping out the academia with like a formal function and she has to, you know, dress up a little bit in academia wear. That'd be pretty cool. I feel like that'd be really, really dope. And it would make for an interesting story and a pretty cool outfit. I would love that actually. Who knows? Maybe that would be something they do. I mean, similar to how Lisa changed uh, her attire to, you know, Sumeru wear or Ayaka changed her attire to Fontaine wear, it would really be Dia changing her attire from one half of Sumeru to the other half. I think it would be pretty cool. But, you know, it is what it is. I don't know what Hoyoverse is going to do. Those would definitely be, I think, a dress it, and or Sumeru Academia wear would be like the two major things I could see happening. Now, if I'm on Copium, I guess I'm, I'm Copium. Shoot, we're even lucky if she gets an outfit. But I feel like those are two that we could definitely have in the future unfortunately i don't really know what else they could possibly do i think they could do something similar to like the lisa and ayaka like style style in different regions I mean, they might end up doing that a lot more than we think and i that could actually be a possibility like seeing her in like winter like going from like you know loose uh, like well, i guess you can't really call those <laughs> that belt is not loose <laughs> but you know going from like the clothes that are meant to help her in the desert to like maybe snizz nine wear where she has to like bundle up for the winter that could be really cool or maybe even something like for fontaine similar to ayaka with more i guess dapper slash aristocratic uh feel that could also be really interesting as well so 
I know some people want her to wear something. Uh, <laughs> well, I put a belly dancer up. Well, this is kind of like, I guess, belly dancer Nia, but some people would like her to wear something similar to Nilu. I know people ship Nilu and Dia a lot. I'm actually surprised, but yeah, uh, some people would definitely like to see that. I feel like they could also definitely go down the route of having her wear something more traditional for the sand. I don't know how to really explain it. You know the sand benders from Avatar? Something like that. Something like... How do I really say it? I mean, you know what I'm talking about. But, like, something that's, like... Because right now we're in a fantasy game, right? But something that's, like, oh, yeah. This is something you'd probably wear in the desert. Fantasy-esque. But, you know, more along the lines of what you would think when it comes to peeps in the desert. Or maybe even more, like, traditional era might wear. Because let's be real. Dia's style is a bit unique compared to the rest of the Aramites, but it would be pretty cool if she wore something more similar to like some of the Aramite NPCs, actually. That'd be pretty dope. But you know, it is what it is. I know a lot of people would even enjoy just seeing like a casual Dia. You know, just Dia and like modern wear. There's there's so many possibilities on what people want. I I and I'm honestly down for all of it. <laughs> I have really no uh real I, I, I'm not really against any of the potentials, honestly. There's some I feel like that are more likely, but hey, if Oilverse wants to do it, I'm 100% down. And pff, some people just want to see Dia in a maid outfit. It is what it is. <laughs> you know what I mean? But one thing I was thinking of is with Dia and Candace being uh, tied pretty close for the game and lore-wise, I think since Dia is a five-star... Candace should be the four star that receives, a, you know, the free skin. I feel like that would be really, really cool, especially if it was like Sumeru Academia wear. They could both get it or it could be, um, you know, them being stylized in different nations. Whatever the case, I'm looking forward to it. I think a lot of people would enjoy having like Dia plus Candace getting new outfits in the same patch. I feel a lot of people would enjoy that combo of seeing like these two girls match in outfits. It'd be dope. But at the end of the day, that's all I really have to say on the matter. Let me know down below what kind of outfits would you love to see on Dia? Or what outfits would you just love to see introduced into the game general? Because let's be real, we don't have that many. So it would be nice to, you know, get a few more. Until next time, though, I hope you guys enjoyed this daily Dia. Keep burning bright embers. And as always, Lito. I stay cooking in the stove like I'm Jean Link. Get too close, I put that flame on you like you town lanes. Try to run, you won't get far. Oh my God, you got sniper aim. One day when we find our sibling, we'll see brighter days. Yeah, yeah, wishing for brighter days, wishing for finer things.